Oh, baby. Happy Sunday evening, friends. How y'all doing tonight? What's going on? What's going on? How's it everyone doing? We're on a new platform today. Shout out to Three Addicts. So happy and thankful to be here. And this is going to be so much fun, guys. We're going to go through a whole Yu-Gi-Oh! adventure together. Uh, I want to provide you guys a little bit of context, though. If you don't know about the game Yu-Gi-Oh!, let me give you a little bit of context, right? Originating from a manga series in 1998 back in Japan, this genius came up with this idea for a character named yu gi Moto, And he didn't initially play a card game, but skip ahead 20-something years. Now it's a broken card game that makes Konami Entertainment a lot of money. And I've been obsessed with it for the past nine out of those years. And I've played competitively, I've got multiple premier tops, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this game. I hopefully can drop some Yu-Gi-Oh! knowledge on you guys, but I want to start off with some things that'll get you a little bit nostalgic, you know? So say, like, you remember, oh, I remember Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician, all that good stuff. We're going to go over a whole bunch of stuff, but if you guys have any questions, I'll have the chat pulled up, and we can happily go through your questions. That's a drippy Jinzo. Cheers, homie. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I'm a big Jinzo guy, in case you didn't know. Yo, what's up, Shadow Council? Great to see you, homie. Everyone, be sure to hit my homies 3 Attic with a follow if you ain't already done so. But without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to start things off strong with one of my favorite, you know, non-meta decks that I think is a great introduction for those with a bit more of a casual audience. And for those, you know, players who just want to relive their nostalgia from the anime back in the day, so... Yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Right here, you might be able to already tell. This is Blue Eyes White Dragon, maybe. But this is in your this is in your mother's or your brother's Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is Danger Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is basically one of the ways that I find to make Blue Eyes as competitive as possible in 2021. I think I built this deck in 2020, but it still can steal wins, surprisingly. So we're gonna see how many wins we can steal tonight. And we're going to be playing on multiple different platforms this evening. Not only do we have Dueling Book, but we also have Project Ignis, which is two different ways that you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! on the computer. Um, if anyone has any questions about installing those, I'm um, more than happy to let you know. But Dueling Book's actually browser and 100% free, so anybody can do it. If you want special help, like when it comes to either setting up these programs or getting back into the game, you know, be sure to reach out to me. Uh, I'm on YouTube. I'm on, uh, I'm on Twitter. I mean, technically, but I don't, I'm not the, the uh, most active on Twitter. You're better off trying to find me on YouTube or on Discord or on Twitch. So you can find my Twitch. It's the same username that I'm streaming from right now. Or you can slide through to our Discord, which I'll drop a link to right here. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's rock and roll, baby. You guys ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. All right, let's rock. Let's rock. We're going to start off with the Blue Eyes, and we're going to go in ranked. But I've got a bunch of classics. One deck that I was just practicing with before we got into this was Gravekeepers, which is a little bit more of a deep cut. So if you're not as familiar with the game, it might not be... It's not the best one to start with. I think I'll start with Blue Eyes. And I'll explain what I do as we go for those that are new to the game. Now, the cool thing is we lost the die roll here. The Rock, Paper, Scissors is what we call the die roll, right? It determines who goes first or second. But that's okay, because we like to go second with this deck. How's our opening hand? It's not bad. It's not bad. This is definitely playable. Let's see what we run into, though. I'm going to try and provide you guys with the best contact. Oh, oh no. Why did it have to happen this soon? We're running into my worst enemies, one of my greatest nemesis of Yu-Gi-Oh! decks of all time, and it's the prank kids. This is not how I wanted to start this evening. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well... Oh, when he opened really good. Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. We're not going to be discouraged. We're not going to be deterred. We're going to annihilate this man. Or woman. We don't discriminate. Everybody gets annihilated equally. But I think... I think we kind of have to do it. We kind of have to do it. Yeah, we got to do it. We got to do it. I'm not going to make it through this match without it. All right, Sunday night. Whoever's working tomorrow, cheers to you. Um, I'm working tomorrow too. It's gonna be a long day after a four day weekend. <sighs> I wonder what he's gonna summon. If he summons a Abyss Dweller against us, that just might be all she wrote. Ah, crap. 
<laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. That's a Mist Dweller. This card stops our graveyard effects from activating. We kind of need that for our danger, Bigfoot. Because it's going to activate and resolve in the graveyard after we discard it. Interesting. Pandemonium for two. Into the rocket guy. Um, I wish I could explain better how this deck functions, but I really can't. All I can really say is that it's a pain in the butt to deal with. It's a real pain in the butt. But, uh, we're gonna do what we can, right? And if everything goes according to plan- Oh, he's telling us to take 500 burn. Oh, I'm not a fan of this deck. For those of you who are unaware, I played against this deck in an LCS, which is a luxury championship series. And I wasn't very familiar with it then either. But I took a very embarrassing loss on the feature match stream to this deck. So ever since then, I've not been a big fan of the prank kid strategy. And we have a whole bunch of other side stories about that one too. So I could go even further beyond, but I will not, I will not bore you with the details right now. <laughs> oh, my friends, my friends. Oh, we're gonna get him though, we're gonna get him. We're too strong to lose to a prank kid's chump, baby. If we gotta turn up the heat after this, we will. If we gotta turn up the heat, I'm gonna do it. Unfortunately though, we're in one of those moments where we have to wait for him to finish playing out his turn. So he banishes one, draws one. He's gonna set up the fusion play. We already added back the fusion spell. Their big chungus monster is called the Battle Butler. It contribute itself to destroy all the monsters that I control, which may sound problematic. Because it is problematic. It kind of sucks. And he looks like he's got it on fleek right now. Jesus Christ. Pardon my language. He opened up really good. He, he opened darn good. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Interesting. So we're under Dweller. We're going to be under Dweller. Let's see what the draw looks like. His hand's really good besides that. Depends what battle position he summons the butler in, too. We can force a lot here. I can't remember its stats off the top of my head. So if you look right here, we got our stats. Attack points, defense points. He did all this on his first turn, which is formidable. But our decks do more, baby. Are you kidding me? So, for context, if we had this card in our opening hand, instead of the sixth card that we drew, we would have just absolutely blown man out go figure that's a shame so he's not going to shock on the dweller he will chain it to my trade in though he will chain it to the trade in oh this is tricky 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 let's go for it let's go for it there's things we can draw So I think it resolves in the graveyard. Can it still resolve under Dweller? I'd have to look that up. I don't think it can. He's going to chain that. Let's see how good we draw. Are you kidding me? Cards that would have prevented this from happening. Cards that would have prevented this from happening. I think we still have a good chance here, though. I have, I, I see a strategy. I see a line that can get us to victory. I don't know if it's necessarily going to happen, but we'll try our best. It's not going to be OTK, though. We're going to 9k life points. Hmm, this is tricky. Cannot search itself. I don't know if we got it, Chief. Oh, man. But then again, going second here doesn't help us too much either. Oh, whoops. Misclick. Let's see if we can rock it. What the hell? Oh, no. This is a real classic. This card adds any um, level 1 tuner from our deck to our hand. 
think we might have glitched the game. A little bit. Alright, alright. It's resolving? He's saying MM. What the heck does that mean? Mmm. This is going a little slow. After this, we might move over to Project Ignis, where the game should move quite faster. And we can improve the deck as we go on. Oh, well, he's going to let it go. Interesting. So we can't search itself, but we can, however, search an effect failure. Oh, do we want to search that, though? We want to search the White Stone of Legend. When this card sends to the graveyard, it searches a blue eyes from deck to hand, but we already have one of those. In this situation, Valor, I'm just going to drop a little bit of institutional knowledge on you. This card's not very good in this matchup at all. So, I guess our best bet... It's still our best bet, though. It really is, so we're going to add that to our hand. Do I play Anima in this deck? Logan, why don't you play Relinquished Anima? Uh, me being silly. Probably forgot to put it in. Let's see how far we can get, though. Doesn't actually matter what I target. <laughs> if I take the Meow Meow... And then I stop to link it off. Bigfoot. No, nah, Bigfoot makes the most sense, because I also have response team in hand. Why does that make go? Interesting. So this guy, he's just a free 3k summon. He's pretty darn good. Let's attempt to end main phase, because then we can... Mm, no, that's not the way. Let's start our... Mm. We can bounce that back. Let's give it a shot. This is a classic card. It's going to be returning a card, a danger monster I control to my hand, while putting the Abyss Dweller back in the opponent's hand. And then it's got a cool secondary effect, which we can take advantage of. Oh, wow, that's going through. That's pretty convenient. Now we can either go for the guaranteed Bigfoot, the semi-guaranteed Bigfoot summon, or a guaranteed draw one and pop. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. I don't feel confident that we're going to hit another, so I'm actually going to go for its effect. <laughs> Sweet. That's good. We may be losing our Blue Eyes White Dragon, but our Danger Bigfoot's coming right back onto the board. Drawing us a pot of desires. Now this is really good for us. Watch this. We're going to get another free draw too. Oh, I guess not. I'm surprised he didn't ash earlier on in the turn. Hmm. In this situation. We're going to see how far we can get. He's letting this go. Oh no. Oh no. I banished the targets. Oh no. Well, I made a little mistake here. <laughs> I, uh, the cost of the Pot of Desires is to banish 10 cards. And we banished our other Sage, which we needed to summon off of the Hulk to go through our next line of play. Unfortunately, this is going to put us in a bit of a pickle here. If I played Relinquish Anima, this wouldn't be a problem, because it's a spellcaster. <laughs> anyway, we're learning lessons. We are learning lessons. Oh man, that's rough, buddy. In that case, I have no choice. But to make a Link Rebound trigger this effect. I don't see us winning this game. Uh, do I? That's true. Yeah, we're beat. <laughs> we don't got this one, Chief. But we're gonna we're gonna play it out. We're gonna play it out, baby. Yes, sir, Randy. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, 
I don't see us getting this one. I am going to click AD here. Let's bring in the Ash Blossoms. Yep. This card's really good in this matchup, and you'll see why, hopefully. Harpy's not so much. Cosmic's not bad. This isn't bad either. In that case, we'll take out you. One of you. One of you. One, two, three. We need seven cards to side out. In between games of the match, you get to change up your main deck to adapt it with a pre-made 15-card side deck of cards that you think will be the best to take on your opponent's deck. And hopefully, we'll be able to give them the business. Uh, this is a tricky one, though. It's not cut and dry. Let's give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. Hopefully we can see one of those interruptions. And we'll play it out a little smarter, my friends. Trust me, we're not here to lose. Okay, we won. We should win. We should win. Oh, we got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's good for us. Whew, this is tricky. If we swing with the Cosmic, we don't run the risk of pitching it off of one of our dangers. We spin the dice to determine which one we're going to hit. Good hit. <laughs> really good hit. Now we attempt our danger Bigfoot effect. Perfect for us. Wait, what? I have five cards in my hand. What? Okay. Now we get a free draw. Oh my goodness. We are about to win this match. Oh my goodness. We are about to annihilate this man. Watch this. He's going to ash that. That's rough, buddy. But it doesn't matter. He will still fall before us. Ready? Here we go. Oh no. I think we're one spell card short. We're one spell card short. Oh no, we're not. We still got him, boys. We still got him. Trust me. Oh, do we? I hope we do. I'm just going to try my best and see what happens. We have three lights? We will. Oh my goodness. That sucks. We kind of needed that to go through. But he is bricking worse than we are. Oh, we needed one more light monster. One more. That's okay. We're going to go in for that hot 1500 damage. And we're going to pass turn. It doesn't matter. We still got him. He's not going to rip a name off the top. He will not rip a... This is why I hate prank kids players. <laughs> Draws exactly what he needs at the exact moment. Meanwhile,
Maybe. Maybe. How's it going, Frisco, sweetheart? Look, it's my favorite matchup. I'm infuriated right now. The first match I play on this stream is against prank kids. <laughs> See, I feel really bad, though, more so for the opponent, because the fact that he's playing prank kids means that he didn't have a real childhood. His parents left him at a young age to be an orphan in the streets, and he had to eat gruel out of the gutter to survive. And that's what being a prank kids player is all about. I'm just kidding. I love all prank kids players. Not really, but maybe I do. Maybe I don't. What's it to you? Poor soul. Poor soul. It's all right. We're going to switch to Ig Project Ignis after this, but the games will be faster. And I will absolutely rip through anybody who stands in my way. I am not in the mood to take an L tonight. But in the meantime, let's suffer together. I know that I take 500. I'll take 500 when I feel like it, bro. I think it's um, through the program that we're using. Uh, multicast it. Back in the day, I used to do the old trick where I had my microphone stationed right in front of my mouth. So you couldn't tell that my mouth was delayed. It was pretty sneaky. It was pretty sneaky. It would just literally cover my mouth. I'm sorry if that was a little loud, but that was the old trick back in the day. I'm gonna lose to this chungus. The old razzle dazzle, yes sir. The spickly sparkly. Free draw one for him. Good for you. Banishing instant fusion, that's crazy. I thought this card was like a win con for this deck. Okay. Okay. I can play some duel links. Oh, we'll annihilate people in duel links, dude. You have no idea. I'm a dueling savage. I'll rip them to shreds, my guy. I trust. Alright. Moment of truth. to do it. If I special levy and declare its effect, and he chains Panda, I could pop the butler on res. He gets the search.
Oh, I should have done that. Oh, well. I didn't think about it. I don't think we'll win this one. I'm just admitting and leaving. <laughs> no shot. No shot. Oh, this guy's alive? What happened to him? I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but hopefully he's okay. I miss that guy. Him and I were pretty cool. Yo, what's up, Bean? How you doing, brother? Alright. Alright, alright. Sorry if there's any lag with my face. We're gonna switch now. We're gonna switch gears. To the Ignis Project. Am I a big fan of the Ignis Project? Not especially. But I'm getting back into it. And I want some fast content, my guys. Some fast content. Let me throw this on performance mode and let's rock and roll. Cream Soldier TV. God, yes. It's alright. I misplayed, guys. That's my bad. Well, now, normally, I would just come in hot with the Drytrons. But today, I'm feeling merciful. Oh. Whoops. I guess we're going hard with it. Oh, we're watching somebody else. My bad. Best of three. No answer for the forbidden list? That sucks. Let's take this guy on. This is Master Rule 5. I think that's correct. Wait, what? Alright, forget about this. Let's go to America. US competitive. Best of 10? You're wild in my guy. I'll play I'll break out blue eyes right now, bro. There we go. Let's go. Ready, boys? Here we go. Boys and girls. It's time to take him down. It's not bad. I've seen worse. Oh, I forgot to put the anima in. Oh no. I biffed it. Oh no, it's another tough matchup. He's playing the bird up deck. If only there was a way to make it go faster. man is generating stupid advantage right now. I'm a little scared. Wait, what? That's it? Nah, it makes sense to go for it early, because now I couldn't imperm this guy, even if I wanted to. What infinite impermanence does is it negates the effect of that little chump right there. Oh, he's biffing. He's misplaying. This is going to lock him into exceed plays. Now he can't nerve all. Oh, we got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. Easy clap. It's gonna be a Clapasaurus Rex right now. Are you guys ready for the Blue Eyes White OTK? Here it comes. We're gonna use the power of the Blue Eyes White Dragon to rip the sky to shreds. 
Oh no, there's a back row too. I'm a little concerned. If it's the Harpy's Feather Storm. I actually don't really know what that card does, but it could be that. That we have no answer to. Mm hmm. That's about right, bro. Careful what you're saying, bro. I'm going to cancel you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, this one detach from you, this card, and target one of us with some monsters. Return to the hand. This card is your position, such a graveyard by opponent's card. Turn one. That's your hand. That's pretty good. Let's go for this. <laughs> That's really good. It's unfortunate that this card targets. Response. Response. I'm a little concerned that he has that crazy card. I don't remember what it does off the top of my head. It could just be an imperm or something silly. But it wouldn't be asking him if he wants to respond if that's all it was. for our droplets sending one sending two yeah send that because we're going to search another one response we'll hit these two off We'll search one of you and one of you. And then we trigger our Nessie. Our mighty dangerous Nessie. And this will grab us the almighty Thunderbird from our deck to our hand. But before we do anything else, we're going to go for this. Oh, that might have been a mistake on my part. That's okay. You know why? Because we're going to get rewarded. And we're going to leave this little guy on board. And we're going to be able to punch through it for 10,000 damage. If everything goes according to plan. Which it should. It'd be very difficult for everything to not go according to plan, but anything's possible. The odds are in our favor for victory to be ours. Oh, it's resolving. Okay, we'll pop you and you. D barrier? It was D barrier all along? Holy smokes. Oh, we win. Oh, we win. <sighs> Bruh. Bruh. We really win. It's time. Wait, which one does it do first? So 
Special summon one of them. And attach the other as a material. Special summon you. Attach the other as a material. There we go. <laughs> now that's game. Can anyone count to 10,000? I can't. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Game two. We're going to bring in the mighty evenly matched. He's still going to go first. I can feel it. And the mighty mystic mine as well. We'll keep in the Nibiru. And the Valor. And the Droplets. We'll take out... Thunderbird, Ogopogo. Response Team. And the Return of the Dragon Lords. This is Blue Eyes White Dragon in 2021. And we just beat one of the best Tri-Brigade variants of all time, which is a current meta deck, one of the best decks that you can play. And I think we're going to win this game too, looking at our hand. <laughs> oh my goodness. All we have to do is activate the Mystic Mind and we should just win. I love how it says Spell Mining Cave. <laughs> That's the old name for it. Look at this, he's setting it up just like before. Only this time I think he's doing it the right way. Stereos. He doesn't stand a chance there. I'm gonna feel bad about this one. Oh, we definitely have this. We're going to drop that Mystic Mine, and it's going to be all she wrote. Just like that. There's our Samori, the Bird of Sovereignty again. Which he'll use to... Oh, look at that. And he's going to normal summon the Nerve all this time. Uh-oh. And part of me would be scared, but... Knowing that I have the Mystic Mind in hand, I feared nothing. special summon from the hand. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna floof up my hair in the meantime.
Oh, would you look at the time. It's time for this man to lose. That's it, that's the best you got. That's it. Easy. Free money. Free money. Are you guys ready for this? We are automatically going to win this duel. Ready? Watch this. We win. It was that simple. We just won. I don't have to do anything else. This game is over. Now it may sound boring, but we can just deck him out now. We don't have to do anything else. We already won. The game is over. Ah, uh, yes. Pure evil at its finest. Stick mine. Speed run. That's fine. If he plays that trap card, though, we could be in trouble. I have to proceed with caution. Ah. Uh, we can find out if he does right now. Let's see if it's back there. Do you have it, or do you not? even if he has it. Dimensional barrier again. That's fair. Nope. Doesn't have it. AKA, we don't gotta be worried. Just pass time. Nothing to be concerned about. Don't show me the Imperial Order and we got this. He doesn't have it. <laughs> I'm gonna learn something right now. Might as well. Get to do a little bit of spot removal in the meantime, while we wait for our victory. I'm cool with that.
Easy money. Wait, what's that mean? Vas a Yugar? Oh no. Does that mean I want to win? Do you want to play or not? Easy money. I'm being a little toxic, but it's just for fun. Oh, he's only got seven cards left in deck. That means it's seven turns until we win. Wait, what's that mean? Chupalo. Is that a bad word? Suck it. He's telling me to suck it. Imagine losing to Blue Eyes in 2021. We got it, boys. Another easy win for the mighty Blue Eyes White Dragon. Nothing stands a chance. I told you guys we were going to win. Never had a doubt in my mind. Now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to play one of my favorite decks. I just have to download it from Dueling Book. Do it like this. There we go. We're gonna take it page from we're we're gonna win very fast with this deck, trust me. Gotta go fast. Oops. There we go. And then we take that and we put it into the folder for the for the game. Like that. Boom. Got it. I'm gonna close this back out. And let's let's host a match. Best of three. Oh wait, wait, we just hit host. Yeah, duh. Let's get him. There it is. We're ready. I'm 
So what do you guys think? How many of you have played Yu-Gi-Oh before? How many of you guys are new to the game? How many of you guys are just joining us for the first time here on 3 Attic? Happy to be here with you. Happy to be clapping some enemy cheeks. Not in the most fun way, but we're winning, right? <laughs> if you want to come take me on, I don't normally play on Project Ignis, but tonight I'm making a special exception. Excuse me, exception. Oh, this is taking too long. I'm too impatient. Let's go to the EU. I'm gonna go across the pond, just like that. Oops. Best of three, baby. Let's take on Mr. Caesar Zambrano. Let's see what he's got for us. Oh, we lost the die roll. I don't think I've won a single die roll on the stream yet. This is rough. This is not the best hand. But this is what we like to call Grave Keepers, or what I like to call Necrogoon Turbo. We're gonna show them how it's done. This will be absolute obliteration. Cyberdarks, huh? I'm glad I knew. I'm glad I know that now. This is one of the decks that a structure deck just came out for. We got brand new support. I'm curious to see what he's going to end on. Polish Baron for two. Oh, one's from one's from hand. Cyberdark Cannon. Discard to search. Cool. Claw. Sending horn. We have a good matchup here, guys. We have a good matchup here. Excuse me. I remember when they announced the support. I'm like, oh, wait, there's one card Verte's here. <laughs> Why is he searching Power Bond if he's going first? Interesting. Wait, why would you do that? It's going to blow itself up. Wait, what? Is he killing himself? Dude. I feel bad for this guy, but uh... This is going to be hilarious. Bye-bye. <laughs> he spent 
every card in his hand and took 5600 damage just to die to one card <sighs> bye bye I feel bad about that one oh well he rage quit <sighs> in the words of Darth Vader all too easy Let's go back to the US. Best of three. Oh. Tag duel. Let's take this gentleman on. Dude, I keep losing the die roll. I mean, if I open like this, though, does it even matter? ABC, I love this deck. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Here we go. We got a challenge now. So those of you who remember Seto Kaiba from the anime, ABC is a retrain of his XYZ Dragon Cannon. It's even better and stronger, the Dragon Buster. And it looks like he opened a pretty easy route to it. B and C are both going to trigger. B is going to search a piece, and C is going to special summon that piece from the hand. It's for Platinum Gadget. Nice. I guess he has no target for C in hand currently, but the Platinum Gadget's gonna get him there, so he's still gonna end on the Buster Dragon. Now, we could Mystic Mine him again when our turn rolls back around, but that wouldn't be fun. Instead, we're actually gonna go for, for the kill. Mystic mine him, depending on what the draw is. So, as anticipated, he summons that A from the hand. He's gonna banish it and the pieces in the grave. Yep, here comes Buster. Oh. Sets a back row and passes turn. It's a good start. Oh, wow. Um, I hate to say it, but we kinda just win now. Off of one flipping card. Wow. Uh, if we shark and drop, let's hit this off. Shark and drop, let's hit this off. Activate this, blow up, blow up, that's 45, or a little shy. Let's go for it. He has a trap card. He has a trap card. Hmm, what could it be? Or a spell. Could be a spell. It could be another real unauthorized reactivation, which would be good for him. Negate in half. Good for us. Next, we attempt Red Ice Fusion. Get my inner Triff Gaming going. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, for those of you who don't know, is a combination of the Red Eyes Black Dragon and the... Wait, what? It's negated. That's fine. He drew into Colt Wing. I see he's playing the Synchro build. And he bricked. Unfortunate. He was revealing it to us before he scooped. 
poor man. Anyway, that's another win for us. <laughs> Let's go back to... Oh, we'll stay in the U.S. for now. Let's host up. Oh god, yes. We're coming back, baby. And we're just playing classic decks. All DM era stuff. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Gravekeeper Necrogoon. Strong, dude. And I think for that victory, we've earned one. We literally just beat Kaiba with a fusion of Joey and Yugi's main boss monsters. Oh, this is fun. After this, we might do some serious testing. I mean serious testing. All right, let's see if we lose the next one. We lost again. Every die roll so far. This hand's okay. It's playable. It's not great. This might be our worst hand yet. What the flip is that? Mech Lords? This is a deck from the 5Ds era. The main villains of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds used this against uh, Team 5Ds. The Signers. He's gonna blow it up. Wait a minute. But that's gonna trigger it. It's gonna summon the Emperor. Weasel. Negate spells. Well, we're gonna have to play carefully then. And it pops spells and traps. Wow. It's not that good, but you know. Six, please. He's gonna negate this, I can feel it. Told you. What you gonna do now, big boy? Wait, what? He has another card. interesting he's gonna dodge it and still negate our card because we can't negate this anymore wow good play on his part let's see if we can work around it So now we're going to use the uh, Sky Striker package, a very fun backup engine in the Necro Goon strategy. We'll go for Kegari. And this queen right here is going to yoink us back that Horn of Drums. A trap. A trap trick, to be specifically. Torrential Tribute. Uh oh. That's not that good for us. We're going to have to bait him. Let's see if we can bait him. Torrential. Got him. We got him, guys. That's fine. Look at that. We got him. We tricked him. 
Because now we activate Hornet Trials. Summon another token. Then we go up into our Kaina. And then we normal summon our Commandant. Next, we'll go off into our Verite Anaconda. Use its effect. Summon Dragoon. Sending these two. Oh, we got him. We got him, boys. Now we're gonna not negate our own card. Enter battle. Attack. Get in that little 500 and that big 3k. Very good. Absolute obliteration. What do we have here? Uh, let's negate this. Why not? I don't want to give him two free monsters. <gasps> I biffed! <laughs> I did it on purpose. I want to give him a chance. Mm. Well, when in doubt, Dragoon's the out. Automatic. Still is. And that's game. Another victory for our team. Do we side deck anything for this matchup? I don't think so. I think we leave it as is. Oh, wow. This is a really good hand, guys. This is a really good hand. This is weak. We're gonna tear through that like butter. How do we want to do it to him? We choose the form of the destroyer. I'm gonna do it to him. It's time. It's time, baby. Let's hit him with it. This will grab us that good old Necker Valley from deck to hand. And now we can either try and pitch his two cards from his hand, or we can play around it. How many spells in Grave will that be? Only two. Not enough. Unless. Get ready. Fasten your seatbelts.
little tribute. This is gonna make him send all his monsters. He's gonna chain chain it to dodge it. This is gonna summon out the synchro absorption. He still loses the weasel though. Okay. Two spell cards in grave. Engage at Hornet Drone, normal summon. This is a 2500 attack point monster. Instead of doing that. Let's hold that for the next turn. We're going six deep, baby. This card lets us dig six cards deep into our main deck and add one of the revealed cards to our hand. It's a really, really broken card. And all we want is a way to summon Dragoon. Oh, we missed. That's okay. Against his deck, we're going to choose to play it out risky. I don't care. We can still summon Dragoon, theoretically. But I want to be greedy. So I am going to get punished, and I am going to be greedy. Because I want to do this my way. And I want to give him a fighting chance. Here it comes, 2,500 to the face. I will not respond. I will take the damage like a man. I foresee a turn pass. Yep. A dead pot of prosperity. No matter. We've got this covered. Activate and engage. Searching the Hornet Drones. Hell yeah, we want to draw a free card. Oh, and we ripped the Red Eyes Fusion off the top. It doesn't get much better than that, guys. Here we go. That means that these cards can back us up. There we go. Ready to be back in the fight? This is one of the best cards ever printed within the past two years of Yu-Gi-Oh. Hands down. It's one of the strongest boss monsters of all time. And all it takes is the mighty Red Eyes Fusion to make them. That's right. We blow up his monster, inflict 2,500 points of burn damage, and go in for 3k. You thought I was kidding. We got this by the ass. Face two. We'll set our mighty dank anchor and we'll pass turn. Put the ball on his court now. Oh, <gasps> hi, Jude. That's the out. That's the out. Oh, man. Well, when in doubt, swing for 2200. Yo, Brio, how you doing, Art Queen? Sorry if there's a little light delay, but it's great to see you, homie. We just got kaiju on our Dragoon. So now, we're switching to the backup plan. Wait, why did I choose six? Oh, who cares? One, two, three, four. We'll keep the good ones. Five. 
Necro Valley's up six. We'll do it like that. Why didn't I banish Shizuku? I have nothing left in my deck to search. Two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful. I will take you. You idiot. You should have left a link too, you blockhead. Now I can't out my own cards so I can use my striker cards. Oh well. They will be nothing more but fodder, and our opponents only have 300 life points, so I feel pretty confident. Hmm. Well, it's about that time. Let's send him crying home. GG. We got a trap. This is gonna be funny. Negated by Necro Valley. <laughs> Easy. Easy. That's another win for us. Let's take on our next opponent, shall we? What are y'all thinking? We're kicking some serious butt. I mean, Alter Art, I'm really proud of it. Can't post it online yet, though. I would love to see a Brio. Be sure to send it to me. I'd love to take a look. I won't reveal it. We have yet to win a single buy roll tonight. <gasps> and that changed right now. Strong start, strong start. Response. Gamma, huh? Interesting. He's gonna gamma that. Sweet. I'll check it out in a sec. That I will take that. Now I know that we're not getting impermed. Looks like all this is going to go through without a hitch. There we are. Got him. I don't think I want to negate my own Necro Valley. But I will set a torrential and pass turn. Fossil Dig, it's Dinos. Well, this is a really good matchup for us. Necro Valley completely annihilates their strategy. Baby Sarasaurus, Baby Sussaurus, Lithosagum. That's risky. I think we might want to negate that. How much attack does it have? 25. But it'll blow up two dinos, which could get them into and out. I'm not going to risk it. Let's see how you play through Necker Valley now. Let's see you scurry out of this one, Spider-Man. Misk. Useless. You poor fool. Lost World, that's a little late, buddy. He's going to realize very quickly now that he can't use Misk. And now he's panicking. I can't misc. What do I do? It's simple, my friend. You lose, just like that. Now game two. He's probably going to choose to go first this time. Although we don't really fear his strategy now, do we? We do not. 
The only thing really worth bringing in would be these drone lock birds, and we can put in a few of those. Pick out a torrential. I'm gonna leave in two of those, just cause. Just cause, why not? What are you? There you go. Oh, looks like he made us go first. Lucky for him, we didn't open too well. We will lose to a single copy of the Twin Twisters. Let's see what Brio's got. Oh, did I not just call it? Oh, wow. Oh my god, Brio. That's amazing. Dude, that's so cool. I think I'm going to scoop this one. I don't think we have this game here. It's not worth playing out this one. We just go game three and win automatically. Take them out. Not the best start for us. Far from it. But we'll do what we can. I got you, Brio. Makes sense. I biffed! I biffed! I biffed! I threw! I threw, guys! I was supposed to go for command and first! Uh... Oh no, I was trying to play around hand traps and I met. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. It's alright, Logan. You got this. You're gonna annihilate this chump. DPEs for wusses. Real Chad summon Dragoon. by the grave. Huh. Okay. Let's see you scurry out of this. We got him now. Sure. I'll let it go. Here we go. Six. No, yes, yes. Yes. Come to me. Perfect. Now he cannot summon back his DPE. He cannot use Celestial's effect. We win. <laughs> we got him now.
and Anamadorn is nothing to me. That's fine. A crap raptor. We got him. He surrendered. Another victory for the mighty Necrogoon. Let's host up and take on another opponent, shall we? We've got another few left in us. What do you guys think of this strategy? It's one of my favorites, an all-time classic. We had a Spanish duelist earlier tonight tell us to suck it, so that was fun. Oh, it's Zeroni! It's my boy. Set up for success, my friends. <gasps> and emancipators. This is a scary matchup. He whiffed. He whiffed. That's good for us, boys. Attempting to get a Dragoon. Eight Guardians. And then we negate and take. That's fine. That's fine. be so cool bro we gotta think of maybe you can make a darth vader drytron that'd be really cool i'm just saying
Up my nose. Ow. That hurt. Why did I do that? I miss my girl. He's going to crash with Dragite now, is he? Oh, that's tough. Miss, hit, miss. Ooh. That really sucks. Unfortunately, he won't deck out, so we need to play. Not yet. Uh oh I just realized I don't have a dragoon to bring back. That's not good.
Yeah, bro, but it's not, it's not that simple right now, unfortunately. It's a little awkward. It's a little very awkward. Although I have a weird idea. I'm gonna see if it works. Just trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. This is all part of the plan. Did I already use those? Although, let me see if it's even part because I already dragooned, right? I already dragooned, and he bounced it back. So I have to see. I didn't. Okay, cool. I have a plan. I have a plan, plan, plan. Oh, that doesn't help with my plan, but it is what it is. And yeah, Lucas, it's been a while, but I hope you're doing well. It's a little late here at my house, so... Oh, there we go. I'm doing this all just so I can resolve this silly effect. I want to steal your stupid card. Do I really not have a way into Necronom? Is that my only way? How many has I have I used? Used one? Well, I used one. I'm good. I can use this one right now. Yeah, we're fine. Just one more monster card. That's all I need. I need a monster card. I know I can bring back the red eyes, but he's part of the plan. Oh, he's gonna play now. Here we go. I'm gonna resolve it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'll have to do it next turn, I guess. So the condition is to have it pointing to two monsters. If I negate in half his other guy right now, He's sending it for cost. Let's just see if this works. I don't know if it'll work. This will be a learning moment. Well, I don't get to steal them anymore. I wish. I wish it worked like that. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, if only, if only. After this dies, though, I have to play Striker. I literally have to play Striker cards. Oh, I biffed. I biffed heavy. F four? We hit four? Nice. That works for me, Chief. Now we're playing pure Sky Striker. We're playing Necro Striker. <laughs> uh oh. He's gonna prank us. He will try. He's playing carefully. That bastard. Oh, that fucker. 
I'm mad now. I'm mad now. evil. It's okay. baby let's go it's about the Mets baby come on baby love the Mets hit a home run it's about the Mets baby love the Mets Come on, maybe hit a home run. We're gonna take it. Oh, I forgot to tribute. I forgot to tribute. I forgot to activate Royal Tribute. Oh my god, I am the worst Necrogoon player of all time. Please tell me I have another Necro Valley left in deck. I really have to go to the bathroom too. Okay. The good news is I have another Necro Valley in deck. The bad news is, oh, I forgot to activate engage. End tribute again. Whoops. I should have one more left. One. <gasps> oh no. I don't think there's any way we can win anymore. Oh no. We're in trouble now.
I'm out of wind cones. Okay, he's got it. I didn't realize that. I made that mistake. I'd like to go first. Are you kidding me? This is so bad. This is so bad. Okay. okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put all of my eggs in this basket. Let's pray together. Ready? Only two? That's it? Alright, well. Out my border. This is called speed running it to the end of the game. That's one. He topped that thrice archer! I'm gonna rage quit. I'm gonna rage quit. I'm gonna rage quit. I'm gonna rage quit. It's a freaking prank, kids. Bye bye. Ew, don't tell me that. I lost to this dingus. It's my own fault. I biffed it. Oh, my friends, my friends, my friends. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that happened. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself. I biffed it. Guys, that was fun, though. I had a lot of fun. We had our ups. We had our downs. We started the day losing to Prank Kids, and I guess we're ending the day losing to Prank Kids. The funny thing is he's playing one of my favorite builds of that deck, a build that I've profiled on my channel numerous times. Could even be one of my same lists. Actually, it's not. I don't play that many spells and traps. But darn, that was fun. I hope you guys had fun, too. Be sure to give Three Addicts the follow up, right? We'll come back and we'll play more Yu-Gi-Oh! You already know. Um, next time we're, we we started the day with Dark Magicians. Excuse me, I'm on crack. We started the day with Blue Eyes White Dragon, and we had some big wins, big Chungus wins. And next time we're gonna be breaking out. And we also played Dark Magicians in the form of the Dark Dragoon deck, combined it with Gravekeepers. Next time we're gonna be playing a little bit more pure Dark Magician and a little bit of Jinzos. One more next time we're on Three Attic. But don't go, don't forget to follow them. Follow me, Logan JYA on Twitch. And uh, yeah, homies, that's all I got for my time. And also check out everybody else on Three Attic because it's freaking awesome. Anyway, Logan JYA signing off. Have a great day. I'll see you chumps later. Peace. <laughs>